Given that costs of 12% on all valuation above 235 million must be paid and based on the net worth of food production in January 2017, what was the approximate net worth of food production in November 2016 if stock price trends can be followed? So first, let's have a look from November 16 to January 17. We need to use the change in stock price then to give an estimate for the value of food production. So the change in stock price from January, stock price then is 8,300. Subtract the November one and divide by the November one. Then we need to express that as, as a percentage, multiply by 100 gives us negative 8.3% or an 8.3% decrease. So if there's a decrease of 8.3% from November to January, that means this was a multiplier of 100, take away 8.3%, which is 91.7%. That's equivalent to a multiplier of 0 0.917. So if we look at the value in January, that's 91.7% of the November value. We want to reverse this and estimate from January to November. So if we first take our stock value here of food production, 675.8, that's in millions, and divide by 0 0.917, we'll get an estimate for the value in November. That's 737 million pounds. That's for November 2016 based on that value there. Now we need to consider the cost of valuation. We were told the cost of 12% on all valuation above 235 million must be paid. So let's find out how much this exceeds 235 million by. 737, take 235, that's 502 million. We need to subtract costs of 12% from 502 million. So if we have 100% and take away 12%, we're left with 88%, which is equivalent to 0 0.88. Let's multiply that by 0 0.88, which leaves us with 442 million. However, this is the amount after the 235 million was taken off, so we need to add that back on, which gives us a total of 677 million.